So he's got six on the night, 99-78. On the other end, the put back by Marcus Lee. Looking for the opportunity. He'll drive the lane, get all the way to the rack. That one no good, but Marcus Lee says, oh, Keith Vincent. There is a jumper, free throw line, no good. There's Lee again, tapping it up. And have not scored any points off those turnovers. So Weber will settle it for the Sky Force. Oh, Marcus Lee, there's a defensive breakdown. That play has worked three or four two-way contract, and then live up to the billing as well. Well, Duncan Robinson's been a guy at all levels of basketball. He's had to prove himself all the way, so this is... Shasad Burrell has eight. Those were all in the first half. Purpose drive. Can't finish Lee. The putback. Cook. Quickly the other way. In and out. Lee the finish on the offensive. Weber's hands. Purvis the other way in transition. Finds Cook the third in the corner for three. It's no good. Lee the rebound. And he gets his second straight bucket on an offensive board. Sky Force, an early three of four shooting performance, and all three makes from downtown. And one of three, conversely, for the Stars. Pick and roll, here comes Marcus Lee. He'll bend to 10 as he gets. So under three minutes left in this first half as the Sky Force trail by 13. And again, we'll have to see if they make the adjustments trying to work in the lane. And Marcus Lee able to convert. <laughs> Lee puts it home, trading lead. You have that Eastern European sound. Here comes Marcus Lee wearing number 11 for the Sky Force. He is out of California is where he spent his final year of collegiate ball. Marcus Lee, he will spin. He will put it off the glass too hard. Mark the corner by Hearn with 10 to shoot. Putney will take it to the rack, and that one swatted. Here comes Marcus Lee. He will put it up. That one's short. And finally, the Kings will pull down the Reese's one. It is significant. Crossover dribble. Well, they get it over to Marcus Lee, who did not do the crossover dribble, but he was able to pick it up. And then he hooks it up in the lane. Too strong. They'll stack him in the lane. They'll send him around. And they'll go to the safety valve, Marcus Lee. He'll work on Haas, and he will float it over him, and it's good. Going with the left hand. Gets one out of two to make it 24-18. Sky Force and the Vipers. A couple of long winning streaks at stake tonight. Vipers coming in, winning their last six. Weber. Left side, Cook, they'll post it up. Marcus Lee is on. Marcus Lee will take it to the 10 and ram it through. And again, with only seven players, and they will say no shot attempt. So that was the first foul of the game. Here comes the lob to Lee. He'll put it off the glass and in. Catch and... So the Blue have the lead back 6-5. to five. In the two previous meetings between these two teams, it was the fourth quarter deciding it. Marcus Lee, thank you, from Briante Weber. Some confusion to play. Gets it back, finds Trent. Three is too long. That would have tied his career high of 37. Other way. And one for Marcus Lee. He's got 17 points out of nowhere here. About 76% from the strike. No, get it in the lane. Here comes another attempt. It's no good. Marcus Lee was there. Might not have been tipped, but it was affected for sure. And Weber gets it down to Marcus Lee. He'll take it to the rim, put it in, and he'll get one more. Well, why would there be anything malicious in a 25-point game? Don Coleman can't get the follow. Just a lot of newness with this Cal team and still trying to find themselves early in the year. Well, you got nine new players on this team that were not there last year. So you're, you're talking about... Yeah, you probably will not see action the rest of this half. Hamilton overlapping with McNeil. Pick set by Lee. Coleman looking for somewhere to go. Lee again on the step back. Well off the mark. Eight fifty-five left. Again, fifteen-point advantage. As the Warriors with none driving in, sending out Derrickson. Three is knocked away by Marcus Lee. Joining the Sky Force. After a brief hiatus, 
And the first points of the second quarter for Sioux Falls. And we just crossed the two-minute threshold of time gone by in the second quarter. Ball fake for Williams. He'll reset it after the return pass from Jones. He'll fire from 20, short, put up and in by Walker. For P, for three. 93-79, Sky Force by 14. That is the largest lead of the game for Sioux Falls. Fields for the answer, no. And the rebound to Purvis. So it will be Stockton ball. And a full 24 seconds. Sullivan will work a little clock here. Stockton not afraid to work at a slow pace. Sullivan for three. That one rattles off to make it 101-84. Vipers left side with Bond, and Bond will back away. Bond will now advance, he'll get in, and he will take it all the way. Weber for three, and it's way off. That one's a glass banger. Now under nine minutes to go in this third quarter, and Oklahoma City still leads at 76-68. Solomon, oh, he's deep. He's going down, throwing that hammer. Dante Ingram and Vander Blue set to check back in for the Legends. Here's Trent Jr. on the far wing. Now he'll bring it out. Hornsby looking inside onto DeGupo. He gives it to him. Faces up and there's a whistle. That's going to go on Marcus Lee who was in. Welcome back to action here at the Sanford Pentagon. Third quarter underway as the Salt Lake City Stars have possession to start this third quarter. Isaac Haas has it left of the lane. He's working on Marcus Lee. Working into the lane, spins to the basket, and he will score. This copyright. 13 rebounds as well for Rafael Putney. Stars with possession after the timeout. Lyles posting up with Haas. And Haas sends it back out. Now they get it back into Haas. Ooh, a fake baseline. Shot the hook, and it's no good. And the rebound fought for. And they say last touched by Stefan Branch. Defense. Doing some work Defense. on the offensive glass. Lyles is open over on the left side, but they'll wait for the play to develop. They'll feed Haas. Haas against Lee, and Haas will send it back out. Then Haas gets it back in good position, and his hot shot is blocked. And they will see a foul. Back to a six-point game. This is a high-scoring affair. 78-72, we still have seven and a half minutes in the third to play. I do like up and down, fast-paced basketball gets the 76ers field house. Stacked second half home schedule for the Blue Coats. Oliver fades away, hits, plus the foul. 26, lead expands to seven once again. 12 seconds left in the period as LeCompte drives, cut off. Sends it over, they're around to the right side. Rodriguez, oh, a shot did not go in, but they'll call the foul. And 